Okay, so I'm going to edit a template. Um, this is basically a PSD that comes with a theme, Side Crusher theme. And, well, I've, I go to open it and it says that some text layers contain fonts that are missing. Okay, result in font substitution. Layer type, place missing fonts. Well, I kind of like the way this looks. Now, if I go to edit this text in any way, it's going to tell me it's missing. This font does not exist on my computer is what this is telling me. If I say OK, it's going to replace it with the closest possible font, which in this case is Myriad Pro. It's not, however, um, Myriad Pro condensed. Um, it's not the font that we want. Um, if I undo, well, actually, I can't even undo it. Um, so, well, yes, I can. I can say don't. Um, I want to get this font. So let's just look for it. Myriad Pro Bold Condensed. Okay, Myriad Pro Bold Cond. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and kick open my browser. And right off the bat, um, I find it. It's free. And if I'm lucky enough to actually get my capture right, uh, yeah, maybe not. Third time's charm, right? All right. So. <clears throat> Well, I want to open my fonts folder. I'm going to go to um, start. Go to the control panel. And in the control panel, I want to choose fonts. Okay. Now, I have downloaded that font to my desktop. So I'm going to open up. My desktop. Now I'm grabbing this font here and just just dragging it over into my fonts folder. Um, and actually, you couldn't see that it would happen so quickly before I can move the window out of the way. But it said installing font, and now it's installed. So um, what's it called? Myriad Pro Bold Condensed. Okay, so this is the font that I just installed. Now, we can close this and let's close. Whoop! Let's close this and reopen it. And sure enough. Um, I no longer get the error. Okay, if I go to my text, I can now select this new font. Correct. Okay, so if you have problems with fonts when you go to open something up and it gives you this error and it says it wants to substitute, and it will if you let it, and if you like the way that the font looks. Um, then you don't really need to worry about going out and downloading a new font but if you want it to be the way that it was intended and you want it to look this way you want this font um, typically 95 percent of the time you can go out and get that font for free especially if it's in a template that's being provided to you um, it's usually a free font they haven't bought rights there's no royalties blah 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 so you can usually just go out, download the font. You know, be careful about over um, 
overwhelming yourself with fonts. Don't throw a million fonts into your font folder because trust me, it will slow your machine down. It will cause your machine to boot slower. Um, all those fonts have to load every single time your machine reboots. Um, but you know, so be be frugal about it. But at the same time, get the fonts that you need um, and that you use often. You know, um, Myriad is a really nice font. Uh, you'll you'll see it being used a lot now as as well. So it's kind of popular. But um, anyway, to make a long story short. If you need a font really bad, you can usually just go out and download it. Go to Start, Control Panel, open up the Fonts folder, drag and drop, or right-click and copy and paste into your Fonts folder, and that font will now be on your machine. When you reopen the file, okay, that you were not able to use the font in before, you now will have the correct font, and it will be seamless. Once you make your change, say yes, and now I have that font permanently embedded in my system. And from now on, any file I open that has this font in it, it will automatically be there. I won't ever get that error again. Okay, so I hope this helped you out.